complex characters. Stories contain characters with a range of personalities and levels of complexity. Some stories contain simple characters. Simple characters do not change throughout a story. Simple characters, also called flat or static characters, do not grow, learn, or realize things over the course of a work. Some characters are more complicated. These characters, called complex characters, are more dynamic. As the story progresses, complex characters change their attitudes and reactions to events. They display a realistic mix of traits, strengths, and weaknesses, and are equipped with a full range of emotions. Complex characters are also called round or dynamic characters. Simple flat characters are generally shallow. They are static and do not change during the course of a story. Typically, simple characters represent stereotypical personality types or a constant set of ideals. An example of a flat character would be a jock who bullies other characters from the beginning of a work to the end. Flat characters will often surround a dynamic character. Surrounding a complex round character with simple flat characters allows many readers to relate to the main character. This literary strategy is known as round versus flat or dynamic versus static. Unfortunately, in real life, people often reduce others around them to simple flat personas. If the author can recreate this experience in a story, the main character will be easier for readers to understand. Complex characters are dynamic and change throughout the story. These characters display many different traits that may change due to events in the story. This evolution gives complex characters personalities that are more realistic. When a dynamic character is surrounded by static characters, the story mimics the experiences of a real person. Real-life interaction occurs between dynamic individuals and perceived static individuals. We are the dynamic characters, changing throughout our lives, and others around us are the static characters, remaining the same in our eyes due to our limited insight into their thoughts and motivations. The better a story can capture this subjective nature, the more convincing the story will be for the reader. Simple characters exist through all literary genres, but are prevalent in children's literature. Examples of simple characters include all three of the little pigs. One little pig represents laziness, another represents average effort, and the third represents responsible hard work. From start to finish, the pigs do not change. The first pig builds a flimsy straw house, the second builds a less flimsy stick house, and the third builds a rock-solid brick house. Depending on which version you have read, hard work saves only the responsible one, or, if you like happy endings, all three. Complex characters appear in all great works of literature, such as Mark Twain's The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. In this work, Huck Finn is a complex character. In the beginning of the story, Huck is very poor and does not have a good home life. As a result, he is skeptical of the world, only parrots the opinions he has been told, and does not trust anyone. The story follows Huck as he transforms. Experience challenges and leads Huck to question society ultimately changing him from a poor, pliant youth into a self-aware human capable of critical thought and resistant to indoctrination. This change makes Huck Finn a complex character. Stories with multiple plot lines usually contain several complex characters, which adds a challenging complexity to the story. A story with multiple plot lines shows the collision between the worlds of several complex characters. Stories include both simple and complex characters, but complex characters are more true to life. Depending on the author's purpose, both types may be appropriate, and the combination of the two makes the story more compelling for all readers.